Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. In this video tutorial, I will fastly explain to you how to set up a Wi-Fi extender E3200. So we're going to be talking about both wireless and wired uh, pairing processes. So first of all, step number one is going to be plugging in the Wi-Fi extender into a power outlet next to the Verizon Internet gateway. And you need to wait for a solid yellow light so the yellow light is going to be right over here. This is going to be also the step number two. So as you can see, we need a wire to plug it in into this place right over here. And your actual power brick, you need to connect to your power outlet. Okay, now we have step number two. Press and hold the unified, also known as pair button, on the Wi-Fi extender for three seconds. Then the pair button on the Verizon Internet Gateway within two minutes. Both devices blink blue while pairing. This button and LED right over here. This is the unified button. If the if there's an error that occurs during the pairing process, the status LED slowly flashes red for two minutes. After the error occurs, once a solid white or blinking yellow light appears on the Wi-Fi extender, that means it's paired. Now we have step number three. You need to unplug a Wi-Fi extender from a power outlet, and now you need to move it between the internet gateway and the weak Wi-Fi coverage area and then plug it into a power outlet. You need to make sure to do this properly so that indicator flashes the right color. If you see a fast blinking yellow light, move the extender further away from the internet gateway. And if you see a slow blinking yellow light, close to the internet gateway. And once the indicator turns white, the setup is complete and the signal is the way it's supposed to be. The wired Ethernet pairing process is almost identical. So connect the Wi-Fi extender to the router via Ethernet cable. So this is going to be using the white Ethernet cable this time. And then the process is basically identical. You need to follow the same steps that we have done in the wireless pairing method. And this is basically it, guys. Hopefully this helps you. If it did, press the like button, subscribe to our channel for more tutorials like this. And I'll see you very soon in the next one.